What is going on, my teen entrepreneurs? JP here. I hope you are all having an awesome day. So today I want to teach you how to find free images and photos for your website and your content. So let's just jump right into it. So you know a picture tells a thousand words. Now if you're creating articles and high quality content for your, your blog or social media posts, you want to be sure to include images to grab your reader's attention to truly tell your story. The picture and image will draw your followers into your content, right? For example, I could explain a picture. So what if I said, I went to a really beautiful place in the country on a bright day, walked down a purplish path headed towards the mountains. Light green lush trees lined each side of the path and the skies couldn't have been bluer, right? You got the imagery in your head. Now let me show you that picture. Wow, right? <laughs> Maybe not exactly how you imagined it, probably nothing at all. So again, a picture tells a thousand words and you want to try to use images as often as possible with your content to draw your followers and draw your audience in. So this picture would definitely be something called a scroll stopper in a social media feed. A scroll stopper is when people on their social media accounts stop scrolling through their feed because an image catches their attention. If you're just posting text, there's a good chance people will scroll right past your post. If you plant a great image, you may catch a few, a few eyes and land some readers. Does that make sense? So you want to include scroll stoppers in your social media posts. Cool? All right, let's keep moving here. And for your website, you want to absolutely apply the same concept, right? So text in itself isn't visually interesting. If you combine high quality images, eye catching graphics and a few videos, and which are all, you know, you want to try to include all high quality media, your visitors will have a much more interesting and engaging experience. So, now, to add images and photos to your business, you have a few options. You can upload your own photos and images, right? And videos, obviously, but we're not talking about that right now. You can upload your own. You can utilize the photos associated with your website building platform. So you can, you can find media, images, photos, and videos that your website building platform offers, right? In our case, it's Wix. You can download free photos from the websites I'm going to be recommending. You can download free photos from other websites, but the only caveat is that you have to attribute credit to the image or creator, which is not a big deal. So if you use a photo in, on these websites, and we're going to go over them, if you use a photo, you're going to have to list the image uh, owner or the creator somewhere, either on the photo or on the, on your website. Got it? And then the last, the last one I'm going to show you today, which I use often, uh, screenshots, right? And then uh, download it from your browser. So if you're if you see if you're on a website and you really like a picture, uh, or if there's like a, a brand that you want to talk about you can do a screenshot of it. And we're gonna go into that um, a little bit as well. So let's keep going. All right, there are free photos and there are royalty-free photos. And this, this uh, there's an important difference here. So some of the stock photo websites I'm gonna be referencing provide photos at no cost and you can use them indefinitely, all right? Um, some of the other sites sell royalty-free stock photos and images. So what is royalty free? A royalty free image, there are, they are a special category of images that come with a unique license. Individuals and businesses can license or purchase a royalty free image once and then use that image indefinitely without having to renew the license to use it over and over again. And depending on the size or quality of these images, the cost can range from $20 to a few thousand dollars each. Yeah, each photo, okay? Now, what does stock photo mean? You're gonna see that a lot now. At its most basic definition, stock photography is an industry that creates and sells imageries, images 
imagery <laughs> that sells imagery or images in the form of photos, illustrations, or videos, and can be purchased for use through various licensing models. So here are four of the best royalty-free stock photo image websites. So these are paid sites. So for these royalty-free stock photos you have to pay for. And I'm just showing you these. I'm not recommending you use these. I'm just showing you the top four. GettyImages.com, iStockPhotos.com, DreamsTime.com, and Shutterstock.com. And there are more. But, um, but let's click on one of these, all right? So let's, and I'll show you what these are about. Okay, let's go on Getty Images. All right, so here we are, Getty Images. So let's type something in the search bar. And these are, okay, let's go car. Let's search up car. Cool. So here we are, car. Let's click on one of these. Let's find a really awesome car. Okay, let's go, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's say, I like this one here. Let's say my niche is cars or going to the beach and <laughs> whatever it is. So now the price on this one, the extra small is $50. The large is $500, 500 bucks yeah, for this one image. So we're not going to use this image, all right? So let's see what else. Here's another one. Okay, about the same, right? $50 for the extra small and then the large is $500. And it shows you what the size is right here. The large is uh, about 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. We're gonna get out of this website. This is way too expensive for us, right? So let's click out, click out, let's go back here. Let's go to iStock Photos. I'm gonna show you what this is about. Okay, it's loading, it's loading. Just give it a second, bear with me here. Okay, we're gonna click out of this one. It's not it's not working for us right now. Let's go to Dreams Time. Dreams Time, here we go. So let's look up makeup, right? Let's say you're starting a makeup niche site, a blog, or whatever. So you want makeup pictures. Okay, so I don't know. I think these are all pretty freaky and funky looking, and I don't know if I use any of these. But that's all right. So anyway, let's just click on one and see what the cost is on one of these. All right, on Dreams Time. Let's go with um Let's go with this one. It's a makeup website, right? Let's say you're starting a niche site for websites. So uh, on this royalty-free stock photo, you'll see that it has its watermark. Dreams Time has its watermark, so you cannot take a screenshot of this, which a lot of people do, and they shouldn't. Um, but here's Dreams Time. Their protection is their watermark. All right, but let's look at the prices here. It looks like I can download a free... I, there, maybe I do have a free download here, but let's go to an extra large image and free download. I gotta sign up and I'm not gonna sign up and it may allow me to download this for free but it's gonna be a very small resolution so it's probably not gonna be, it's not gonna be great resolution. You can try it, you can, you can look around these sites and maybe you'll find, you'll find something for free that you really like and you wanna use and that's fine. But most of these you have to pay for and they're not cheap. So let's go back, we're gonna click out And let's go to Shutterstock. I really like Shutterstock, and this is where I've actually purchased a couple of images. So what's another niche? Uh, dancing, right? Let's, let's try dancing. Let's try dancing here. Okay, cool. So here are some pretty cool images. All right. <laughs> these, are, these are so funny. Okay. Um, let's go with this one. All right, Energetic Hip Hop Dancer. I can download this for free. Look at this, that's pretty cool. But let's download for free and see what happens. All right, but I got I have to sign up. It says download 10 images now with a free trial. All right, but that's how that that's how they nab you. They say you can download it free. You can probably download a couple of them um, with a free trial, but the annual subscriptions is $29 a month. So you're going to be spending about $350, $360 a year for something. No, nope. Anyway, and look here, they have the watermark on top of this Shutterstock photo, okay? So you can't take a screenshot of this. Let's click out. So you get the idea, right? These are the paid sites. They're expensive. They get pricey. They hook you in. They make you pay. Avoid those, okay? For now, avoid them. I've used them a couple times, um, and I've paid about $40 to $50 per 
just a few times in my entire life. So maybe twice I've used um, Shutterstock. But okay, let's keep going here. The photos and images on these next websites are free to download and free to use as often as you need it. These are my favorite. And you wanna explore all options and download whatever you can to use for your online business. Cool? Got it? Let's keep, let's keep going on this. So free images and pictures. Your Wix.com or whatever platform you're using may offer you a ton of options and media for your website. Um, so depending on your niche, right? What is your niche? So check that out. Go on, check out your platform. But I'm, listen, I'm recommending go to all these sites and spend an hour or so or longer downloading as many pictures as you think you could use for your niche and for future use. Not that you want to use them right now, but for future use. All right. And you want to catalog them. Canva.com, free high quality photos. You do have less options on the free plan. It is absolutely free unless you want to up, uh, upgrade it to the, the paid version, which would offer a lot more uh, um, a lot more photos, a lot more media. I highly recommend it because um, there are so many, so many photos and elements and images that you can use on Canva. So I do recommend using that. And uh, all right, we're going to keep going. Pexels.com. Actually, let's go to, I'm not going to click on Wix. Whatever your internet, whatever your platform is, you can go check that out yourself. Let's go to Canva. And then you have to create an account. So log, log in. All right. So is this my, let me see here. Um, now this is my paid, this is my paid site. So what you want to do is uh, I'm not going to, I don't want to do any searches on niches because a lot of options are going to come up and that's the paid version. So we're not going to do that. You can go to Canva and, uh, and check that out yourself. I do provide a link uh, on the website and in the descriptions. So you definitely want to go, um, go check out Canva. And okay. So if you go to pexels.com, www.pexels, free high quality photos you can use anywhere, free for commercial use, no attribution required. Okay, excellent. Let's go to Pexels. You're not going to get a, a whole lot of options on these free sites, but um, let's go. Let's say you're starting. I don't know, a fishing, right? Let's go. Let's try fishing and see what happens. If I could spell, <laughs> sorry. All right, cool. Uh, these, these look pretty good. If I was starting a fishing blog or a fishing website, a niche site, these are pretty cool images. I'd probably I'd want to use, right? So let me just click on let me click on something here. Cool L lures, right? Pixabay. This is free, free download. Top right, free download. And look, let's see, large, yes, original size. I like to use them. I like to download the large ones. Um, Let's do free download of this one. And look, it downloads right away. So awesome. So this is, this is a great site to use. Depending on what your niche is, you may or may not find pictures or images or media for your niche. But you definitely should try. Cool? Right, let's keep going. Pixabay.com. Here's another one. And let's look up. Um, what's another niche we can use? Okay. Let's do, let's do, I don't know. Ooh, martial arts. Let's say you're into martial arts. All right. <laughs> these, these crack me up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Let's, that's cool. So let's say you're into martial arts, right? Let's say, I'll, I'll like this one right here. It's like the karate kid. Free download. This is pixabay.com free download and it's you know 1280 by 853 that's a good size i'll download that one i'm not a robot uh, <laughs> all right i have to confirm that i am not a robot uh, all the squares the traffic lights verify cool download and look immediately look in the bottom left of the screen boom show and finder so awesome let's get out of here burst.shopify.com is another one so you get you get the picture, right? <laughs> so the search. Let's do let's do another niche search. Um, ooh, 
do candy. Let's say I have a, uh, I'm creating a candy niche site. I, I love candy, so let's go. Look pretty cool. Probably my, I'm sorry if I'm gonna lose some of you on this, but this is probably my least favorite candy, candy corn. You either love them or you hate them. I don't like them. Candy canes, candy canes. I'm not a fan of peppermint, but I do love the Jolly Rancher candy canes. Love those, it can eat those all day. All right, so but anyway, he, you get my point, right? So let's, ooh, those are kind of cool. Let's do this one. High res, high resolution, yes. Ooh, and check this out. You can become a contributor up here, which means, guess what? You can actually sell your photos on this site. So it seems like on Shopify Burst, they do sell photos on here. So let's see, download free photo, high res, download this candy photo. Um, okay, but it, this one does say, this says, say thanks by giving Sarah. So you do wanna look out for this stuff. So obviously if they're asking for credit, please give them credit. You can copy the code and just paste it on your site. But I got it. It's that simple. It is that simple. Let's go open this in Finder. Okay, you're not gonna see this, but you're not gonna see that. So we're gonna go back. Okay, we're back now. Okay, let's exit out of that and let's keep going. All right, so now these are the sites that you definitely have to attribute credit. All right, freepick.com uh, free and Unsplash. Again, awesome options for you. So many options. What's another, what's another niche? Give me another niche. Let me just look on my Facebook page. I'm actually um, connected with some, some members right now. Um, food eating contest. Let me see what else we have here. Ballroom dancing. Yes, that's definitely a niche. What else do we have? Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, let's say I'm into iPhone. I don't know. iPhone cases, right? I collect iPhone cases. Let's say you collect something iPhone cases. Let's see if that pops up. I don't know. Or cell phone cases. Let's see. Yeah. So yes, p cases do pop up on here. I don't know. What if I'm into, you know, I want to sell or, or, or talk about cases, cell phone cases. Cool. Let's just, I don't know. Let's choose one. This is kind of cool. This skin's cool. All right. I'm going to download this and let's see what it says. It says download go, it says go premium $10 a month. That's if you do not want to attribute. So you can pay $10 a month and you do not have to give credit. That means you would own the photo on your website. Let's go free download, copy and attribute author. So I'm gonna copy that. And if I use this on my website, I would just give the author credit. Cool. Let's do one more. Let's go to unsplash.com. Unsplash. Okay, and let's check out, let's see what we have here. I have a couple more comments on my feed. Okay, on my Facebook feed I have. Okay, okay, uh, guitar, right? Guitar or piano, but I'm gonna use guitar just as an example. Let's say I'm starting um, a guitar site to either sell guitar accessories or guitars or guitar lessons. And I need a, some really cool images. And these are, these are pretty awesome. I'm going to go with this one. This is really cool. Download free. All right. Give a shout out to Tony. All right, Tony. Thank you for letting me use this. I'm going to take your information and put this on my website. Cool. And there, I, own, uh, I have the photo to use on my website. So... Awesome. You guys get the idea, right? Fantastic. So again, you could just spend some time, spend about an hour. I could probably spend a couple hours downloading pictures for my niche sites. And I do. <laughs> but um, yeah, spend some time just going through and downloading as many as you can, making notes. But let's, let's keep going. When you're ready to download these, create a folder on your desktop and save your images in that folder. You want to create subfolders and categorize your images. Um, be sure to rename your files and include important keywords. So in, if you're doing, if you're downloading a guitar image, you don't want the file to be named um, 8742.jpg, right? You want to, you want to rename the file or retag it with acousticguitar.jpg. All right, so just make sure you rename your files. And that does help with search engine optimization when you upload those pictures to your website. 
So make a note somewhere. If you're downloading a lot of folders, you're going to have to make notes, um, especially if you're going to, if you need to attribute credit. And be sure to follow through with giving credit, please. This is all based on the honor system. Um, for those of you who are interested in starting a photography business and want to create a name for yourself online, you're going to be doing the same thing that these artists are doing and you're hoping that people will give you credit, right? So you will not be asked to remove the photo from your website if you don't attribute credit, but it's the right thing to do. Cool? Awesome. Well, congrats on making it through this class. There is a, a lot of... Um, a lot to take in on this. Um, I just think it's fun. I hope you do too. Just see what you find out there. So good luck. Go to www.eteenlab.com if you haven't joined our community yet. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe to whatever we're doing here because this content is revolutionary. So I want to thank you for being a part of this course and I will see you on the next class.